J1407b is one of the weirdest planets scientists have discovered. Located about 434 light-years from Earth, this is like Saturn on steroids. Studying this eerie world, astronomers have struggled to measure its mass precisely, but it's believed to be around 10, 40 Jupiter masses. J1407b is also a giant planet, much larger than the biggest planet in our solar system. What shocked scientists was the planet's ring system of enormous size. It consists of 30 rings, each with a size of tens of millions of kilometers in diameter. According to rough estimates, the diameter of the entire ring system is 120 million kilometers. This is 200 times larger than the rings around Saturn. If Saturn had a ring system this big, it would dominate our night sky. But although this would have been a breathtaking view, it wouldn't last long. The rings would eventually become thinner as several satellites would form around the planet. But that's just the beginning. The universe has in store a lot more bizarre worlds for us. How can one planet be hotter than the sun and another one larger than its star? Is there such a thing as a marshmallow planet? And what are planets? We've prepared a list of the most mind-blowing worlds for you. GJ504b is one of them, an exoplanet located 57 light-years away from Earth. Dubbed GJ504b, it's four times more massive but has just about the same size as Jupiter. The weird thing about it is that it's pink, quite an unusual color for a planet. So how did it get its color? The system is believed to be roughly 160 million years old, a newborn compared to our solar system. And because of the exoplanet's age, it's still cooling and losing the heat from its formation, which gives it a dull magenta glow. But our universe doesn't only come in electrifying colors, it also has a lot of water-rich planets. A Neptune-like exoplanet, or the water world, has a mass of more than 8 Earth and a radius, 0.24 times that of Jupiter. And although this alien world may seem promising due to its abundance of water, it's no Earth twin. The planet doesn't have a solid surface, and its atmosphere drastically differs from the one we have here. Because of extreme pressure and heat, it consists of water in a strange plasma form that behaves differently from that found on Earth. Despite the fact that the temperatures there reach 280 degrees Celsius, water on GJ 1214b doesn't have the usual vapor, liquid, and gas phases, but rather a constant supercritical fluid form. So it has some properties of both liquid and gas, but overall, it's neither and both all at once. Now let's move to the constellation Cygnus. There, about 650 light years away, sits a scorching world, Kepler 70b, with a mass of just 0.44 Earth and a radius 0.75 times that of our planet. This is one of the hottest exoplanets known to us. The planet's star, Kepler 70, was once a main sequence star like our Sun, while Kepler 70b used to be a gas giant the size of Jupiter. But about 18.5 million years ago, the star went through its red giant stage. As a result of spending a significant amount of time inside its now dead star, a hot iron the core is all that's left of the planet. Scientists think the planet is still evaporating, which could eventually make it even smaller. So how hot is it? Because Kepler 70b is 65 times closer to its star than Mercury is to the Sun, the temperature on this exoplanet reaches a mind-blowing 6,650 degrees Celsius. To compare, our Sun's surface is only about 5,500 degrees Celsius. So if hell exists, it must be akin to this. About 640 light-years away from us sits yet another scorching exoplanet dubbed WASP-76b. But that's not the only thing the planet is known for. It also has a permanent dark side and molten iron rains. Discovered in 2016, it is nearly as massive as Jupiter. Since it's tidally locked to its star, the planet faces it at all times. The temperatures on the day side reach 2,350 degrees Celsius. This is more than enough to cause metals like iron to evaporate into the atmosphere. Additionally, the radiation that the day side receives is thousands of times more than what our planet gets from the sun. The dark side of WASP-76b is almost twice as cold. 
Due to this extreme difference in temperatures, intense winds form on this exoplanet. Because of this, the iron vapor from the hotter part of the planet is carried by the wind to the colder side. And as this vapor cools, it rains molten iron. That is odd enough, but not as odd as the planet dubbed PSR J 1719-1438b. But what's so special about it? This exoplanet is 3,000 times larger than its host neutron star. What's more, it wasn't always a planet. It used to be a star in the past. But let's start from the beginning. The exoplanet orbits an incredibly dense and tiny neutron star about 20 kilometers across. Only one teaspoon of this star's material would weigh billions of tons on Earth. The star is also a millisecond pulsar that emits beams of radiation while spinning every. This is about 10,000 rotations per minute. The star isn't lonely. It has a companion planet about 40% the size of Jupiter, PSR J 1719-1438b. At the same time, this alien exoplanet is more massive than Jupiter. So how come it's so small and yet so massive? This is because the exoplanet was once a star whose outer layers were stripped away by a much more massive nearby pulsar. This left a carbon remnant of a star that became a diamond world about five times the size of our planet. It now has a diameter of roughly 60,000 kilometers. And because the exoplanet's proximity to the pulsar is very close, the whole system could fit within the diameter of our sun. Space seems to be crowded with weird exoplanets and some of them have properties so bizarre you could hardly believe these celestial bodies exist. Dubbed WASP-107b, this peculiar world has the density of cotton candy, which makes scientists rethink their understanding of how gas giants form. While the exoplanet is about the same size as Jupiter, it's only 30 Earth masses. But Jupiter is 318 times as massive as our home planet, What's more, the core of WASP-107b is just four times bigger than Earth's core, while it should be about ten times that of our planet. Because of all this, WASP-107b has an incredibly low density. In fact, it's like a marshmallow floating in space. So far, none of these worlds seem to be giving us any hope of colonizing them. But Gliese 581d could. Finding a planet that would be suitable for life is challenging itself and it becomes even more so because of how far away most of them are. That's why Gliese 581d looks so promising. It sits well within 20 light years of Earth and has a mass just about six times that of Earth. The exoplanet is in the habitable zone of its star, so the temperatures could be right for liquid water on its surface. However, because it's tidally locked, one side of Gliese 581d is always warmer than the other. But it's not all that bad. Since carbon dioxide is abundant in the planet's atmosphere, it would keep the night side from freezing. While Earth has its own regular day-night cycle, and the majority of life forms here have adapted to live under such conditions, it's a big if the same could ever happen on Gliese. But if we do, the best idea would be to live in the region of habitability on the line that separates day and night, also called the twilight zone. The vastness of space is unimaginable and 2 mass J 2126 is living proof of that. This strange world was once thought to be a free-floating or rogue planet. But this celestial body isn't as lonely as we thought. It turns out, 2 mass J 2126 moves through space along with a star, TYC 9486927-1. The weird thing is, both objects have been known to astronomers for years, but nobody saw the link between them. Then, scientists discovered that the exoplanet and the star are both roughly 104 light years from the Sun, which suggests they're gravitationally bound. Later observations showed that the planet orbits its star at a distance of a trillion kilometers. This is roughly 7,000 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. This makes it the planet with the largest known orbital radius. Interestingly, as a result of such a huge orbit, a year on this exoplanet is equivalent to about 900,000 Earth years. Now let's get back to our solar system for a moment. The largest planet here, Jupiter, has 79 moons. So it seems logical that exoplanets should have exomoons too. But for years, 
scientists weren't able to find any. Until now, locating small cosmic bodies orbiting exoplanets is extremely challenging. Nevertheless, astronomers have finally succeeded. But they didn't spot an exomoon. They found something even more intriguing. The first ever clear evidence of a moon-forming disk surrounding a massive distant exoplanet named PDS-70C. With the help of the ALMA telescope in Chile, scientists detected a disk in which satellites could eventually form. And its material is enough to make three moons, each about the size of Earth's moon. For the first time in the history of astronomy, humans could be observing how these small celestial bodies form in space, and not just through computer simulations, but in real time. The last exoplanet on our list is Coe 5 Ab, what makes this one particularly unique is not its properties, but the system it is a part of. The planet, which is about half the size of Saturn, was initially overlooked because its system was complex and even seemed like science fiction. A decade later, the system named COI-5 was given the scientific attention it deserved. It turned out that astronomers had stumbled across a triple star system. The planet revolves around star A, which has a relatively close companion, star B. They both revolve around each other approximately every 30 years. But there's also a third gravitationally bound star, star C. And this one orbits stars A and B approximately every 400 years. If we could somehow travel to this exoplanet and hover on the edge of its atmosphere with our spacecraft, we would see breathtaking and unusual sights. The view below would most likely be filled with dark brown and gray clouds, and instead of one sun, you would see two, one 17 times bigger than our sun, and the other one quite smaller, and about half a percent as bright as our sun. But regardless of this, the fainter star would still glow a thousand times brighter than the full moon here on Earth. No matter how unusual these alien planets are, there could be even stranger celestial bodies in our universe. So far, black hole planets are purely hypothetical but some scientists believe these could actually exist. If so, such mysterious worlds would form from the collisions of gas and dust particles surrounding black holes. These planets would also evolve at great distances from supermassive black holes, making their orbits millions of years long. The universe is boundless, not just in terms of distance, but also in terms of diversity. Now and then, astronomers discover mind-boggling space objects that broaden our limited imagination of the place we live in. It took us many years to discover all the planets of our solar system and they're still surprising us with their properties. So who knows how much more eye-opening findings about the 5,000 known exoplanets are still ahead of us.